Surviving Spirit with Mike Skinner. Hi folks, uh, Mike Skinner. Through all these sessions, I'm going to be addressing trauma, abuse, and mental health and their impact and lessons that I've learned along the way from a lifetime of healing from these matters, but also sharing resources. There is hope, there is healing, and there is help. So please do hit the subscribe button and the little bell, which will let you know when there's more videos being posted. And with that said, I'm going to open up into songs for the keys to your life. And this is another song of mine I wrote is off the uh, Waiting for a Train CD. Long title, short song. The grindstone is all that you see. What's made of gold, nothing so cold, and have forgotten your dreams. Deep in low, deep in care, when did you drop keys? Keys you dream to music to your soul. Remember, I once sang to me songs of the keys to your life. Songs of the keys to life. Songs of the keys to life. Every song of the soul of the keys to life. Wasting away and what they to say of all the things that you love. Now all I see is broken inside. Love of only your wealth. Let now the dream in liberation and schemes find your way to the top. Look around and what do you see? Wasteland of all that you love. Songs of the keys to life. Songs of the keys to life. Songs of the keys to life. I got a question for you. Songs to the keys of your life. Can you um, sort of uh, highlight why music is such a powerful tool for healing based on your experience? For me as a young boy, it was a great escape. And I, I knew that intrinsically, but I could not verbalize that to anyone in adult if they asked me, how's the music doing? That was one thing about my parents. They had a great music collection. They listened to everything from you know Chuck Berry to Elvis to Frank Sinatra, uh, Dean Martin. I loved it all. They had quite the record collection that I would hear, but also the songs on the radio. I was just, I loved it. Whether it was the doo-wop bands, you know, Bill Haley and the Comets, all the oldie stuff. Obviously, I grew up in the 60s and the 70s. Petula Clark, I was just a young boy, and I'm hearing Downtown. She was singing to me, I'll take you downtown. You know, we're going to go away. It was like, this is great. That was, music just carried me away. And when I would go over to the field in the woods to hide and play in, in my forest, if you will, I had a little transistor radio. So I was always listening to music. And then, you know, lo and behold, the uh, Beatles, uh, I was nine years old. They were on the Ed Sullivan show. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> that was a transformative moment. I I wanted to be like, like 
tens of thousands of others. I wanted to play the guitar and sing and be famous like them. I burst out saying, this is great. This is what I want to do. And immediately my parents ridiculed me, my father with his F-bombs, you know, you stupid, worthless, etc. And that just crushed me. But I still kept listening to music. So music was my escape. It was my way of dealing with the horrors of the hellhole that I was living in. Over time, and, and this happened pretty quickly, again, I'm nine going 10 years old. Um, and all of a sudden there was another epiphany. I was always tapping along on my knees or the counter or whatever, and I could anticipate the drum roll. I was keeping time and I said, ha ha, I can be a drummer. So I set about to teach myself how to drum. Um, so I would listen to Gene Krupa, Buddy Rich, Ringo Starr, all, I just listened to everybody, the Rolling Stones drummer, all the drummers from that era of the 60s and 70s, because they were some incredible drummers, Mitch Mitchell, Jimi Hendrix. So now not only was the listening healing me, now the drumming. Later in life, and I won't be able to give you all the facts because I read the stuff and it, it's back here buried somewhere, but how drumming, the rhythm, that left, right, all that stuff, all those things are healing. So they have scientific studies showing how music heals the mind, body, and spirit. I had some friends over, some neighbors over last night, and, and we were talking about how that, the music, and we were talking about folks with dementia. I've had the, the beauty of performing for folks that have had significant head trauma. They can no longer verbalize. Um, maybe they're in a deep, dark depression. I'm playing songs, and if I would do a Beatles song like Let It Be or a Bob Seger, Seger song, you know, turn up. I mean, they're lighting up, they're becoming animated, so you're touching them. Even folks I, you know, with Parkinson's, I've performed in settings for folks with dealing with developmental disabilities, uh, physical disabilities, and some folks that were deaf. I'm strumming along and playing, and the folks that are deaf, they're dancing to it because they're picking up on the rhythm. So I don't need a scientific study to tell me music is transformative and it's touching because I've seen this for other people, not only for myself as a human being and how it has touched me, and it's still my go-to for healing. Late at night, sometimes I just put on this channel. It's just all this soft, nice piano music, acoustic guitar, cello, whatever it is, and I go away. But I also still listen to hard rock and heavy metal. I still like pop songs. I like everything. Um, it's my personal experience, but it's also the learned experience of the those that do the studies on this that it, music is healing all the creative arts are healing so if there's anything that's going to help us one of the many great tools for helping us heal is music the creative arts are you an artist whatever it is that you do creatively so that's what this song songs through the keys to your life was about and as i shared with you my parents had crushed that dream about me playing the guitar and singing so, but I drummed and I, I made a living as a drummer in, in rock bands. And I worked with some incredible guitar players. I wish I had taken the time to have them teach me how to play. I didn't. But in the mid 90s, when I'm dealing with the depression, the PTSD, et cetera, et cetera, I picked up the guitar and it was pretty much self taught. Um, so now I'm playing the guitar. I'm fulfilling that childhood dream. Now I've done it professionally, but even, even if I don't get paid to do it, I, I would just be doing it just for fun. So if you've long harbored a dream, whatever, to play an instrument, darn it, just do it. Or pick up art, whatever whatever it is, I truly encourage folks to do it because it is healing. And again, from personal experience, what I know from friends of mine, other folks that are survivors of trauma and how they've used their creative arts in their healing, but also um, the scientific community will back us up on that. So yeah, music, I mean, it's the common denominator. It, it just makes, and it, done it, it makes you feel good.